Okay, so I had a customer drop off a Sony DVD player. This one is a NS999ES, the extended standard, the Sony high end. And you see that ES, you know you got something right there. Anyhow, this is a super audio CD player and my customer enjoys high quality audio. So it's a few years old. He thought he would go ahead and take it apart, try to clean the optical pickup on it. After that, he says the door no longer opens. So let's go ahead and take the top off. We'll take a quick peek at the insides, power the unit up and see what happens. All right, well, there is a look at the insides. Quite a lot of stuff going on in here, I must admit. Okay, so first the little junction board. It allows all the cables to be connected and transferred into the main board. There's the power supply. There's the nice little toroidal type power transformer. Look at that thing. It's not a big old iron core transformer like I'm used to seeing. Anyhow, on to the boards. So this appears to be the audio output board plus some power supply circuitry. Bunch of op amps right there. Now we're on to the main DVD processing board. Then the mechanism is right here. Well, I think it's time to power this thing up and see what happens. Okay, here we go, power on. I heard the relay click in, then out. So power on the front panel button. The display says Sony DVD and no disc. Well, let's try to open the drawer. Ooh, he's right. That's all it does. Well, let's see if we can figure out why. Well, the customer indicated he tried to do a cleaning himself. So let's go ahead and pop the top off here. I'm thinking this piece right here just didn't get attached to the door correctly. I'm trying to figure out what this does. Something allows it to slide forward. Ah. Ah. Look at that. That gear causes this to move forward and backwards. And it's this right here. I'll bet you it's just misaligned. Because this raises and lowers the tray. Okay, well I'm pretty sure it's just misaligned right here because if I hit eject, it doesn't open, but if I jump it, it'll open just fine. Now watch what happens to this when I close it, because I think this is the mode that it needs to be in. And it puts out the front of the door, out the front of the unit. Hard to see, but it puts this little silver part out in the front. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and pop the screws back in it. Since the customer already cleaned it, I took a look at it, it looks very good. Okay, now let's go ahead and power the unit back up. See if it'll open. Absolutely perfect. Let's pop an audio CD into it and see if it'll play it. Loads it just fine. Let me hook up some speakers. Okay, here we go. Let's hit play. Wow, loaded it and played it no problem at all. This track has trouble on a lot of CD players. Just skips all over the place. Possibly because this one is a DVD player. It has more signal processing capabilities and it could track the disc better. I don't know. Most CD players by now would have skipped all over the place. 
But that's it. Just a very minor realignment. I should look in the service manual and see what the actual alignment procedure is for this. Maybe I'll post a picture of it if I can find a manual on this unit. Anyhow, that's it. Up and running. Working great. Give it back to my customer. Just a minimal labor charge. I think I'll be very happy. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below. Good or bad? I try to read all the comments and respond when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video. It really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. You can email me, NorCal715videos at gmail.com. Everybody have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, from the service manual, here's a couple of exploded views, loading assembly removal and optical pickup removal. And here is the internal view that shows the loading motor and the optical pickup assembly, service assembly, and the part number if you need it. And here's a view of the mechanism deck assembly and all the part numbers associated with that. But nowhere has it told me yet how to get that plate off. And finally, the chassis assembly with the whole mechanism in it. So between all these other sheets, it does actually show the part and show the screws that go into it. The service manual has really gotten me nowhere. Thanks for watching.